I bet we never thought that this day would officially come. Gymshark stepping up the game with a booty enhancing legging. Oh my God. Oh my God. These Gymshark Lift Contour Seamless Leggings have been one of the most highly requested Gymshark videos of the year, hands down. And girl, that is saying something. I apologize for getting this up about three weeks late. This package was on the way, everything was great, fine and dandy December day. And then right when it was about to get delivered, I got a notification saying it got returned to sender. I was like, what is this about now? Why, why when it comes to the lift leggings that I'm so excited about? <laughs> Are you gonna do this to me? Turns out the label got so messed up they couldn't actually make out the address. I was like this close to going to just hunt the person down and be like, me, 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 it's me, it's mine. Where are the turtles? Where are they? But it got returned to sender and so Gymshark was kind enough to express ship as fast as they could a new package and here we are. These are much different than any other Gymshark legging you know. So forget what you know about Gymshark leggings. This is its own unique entity. And we are here to break it down. Up, down, left, right. By the end of this video, you are going to know everything you need to know about these leggings. So these dropped in three different colors. We are looking at the vintage pink slash black Black Marl, which I have here today. As of right now, December 16th, this color's completely sold out. I don't know by the time you're watching this, I'm really hoping they do some restocks because clearly them selling out means something. It also comes in black slash black marl, which is pretty much sold out. And then the one that actually is in full stock <laughs> out of nowhere is the slate teal slash white marl. To be honest with you, when they let me make my selects, that wasn't one of them. It was only this color, which I'm very happy about. It's very pretty. So if you look up close, it's obviously a, a really deep burgundy black. So in dark rooms, it really looks almost black, but in the sunlight, it has a beautiful warm tone, shimmery, golden burgundy color to it. And it's really stunning. It really is. When the natural light hits it, you can really see that heavy marl just shine through. So today here we have the leggings and the sports bra. These are what I've been getting the most questions on. And to be honest, this is what I will be utilizing the most anyway. So I figured let's deep dive into these two pieces. First and foremost, when I pulled these out of the package, I noticed cause I went right around on the glute side and wowie. Booty pouches. We got a parachute booty as I like to call it. I did not expect this. There was no hint to this whatsoever on the website. They didn't say, hey, buyer beware, when you pull this out of the package, it's gonna look like a deflated balloon in your hand. Like, I didn't know that. Power puff cheeks. We're gonna start our way at the top and then work our way down. So the waistband. This is a very thick, relatively heavy ribbed waistband, highly compressive. Now I do have my true size small in both the leggings and the sports bra. And I'll leave these fun facts right over here in case you need that for reference. So like I said, very compressive waistband. I felt it right away when I put it on. Really, really holds you in nicely. I don't really prefer heavy compressive waistbands. That's just how it is for me. So keep that in mind. If you want your waist to be snatched, you prefer compression, a little more support in the midsection, then this is what you will get with these. Even doing hip thrusts, the band stayed in place the entire time. There's no gaping. Didn't expect it with this type of compression. Now, even though the waistband itself isn't crazy big, it's not very long overall. Look at that. That's not a really long waistband. I have a very short torso. When I hike my leggings up how I like to, they came up very high on me. A big reason they do that, which I will get into in just a second, is because there's a lot of space right here for the glutes. We'll get into that. But for right now, this waistband came up so high that I really did try to roll it over. See if I could do that. Looks pretty cute. Felt extra compressive. It could work. I bent around, moved around. It didn't roll back up completely. On one side, it started to. So I don't think you're gonna make it through your whole workout with it staying in place, rolled down. Moving on down to the glutes. You're going to see up close that there's a large amount of contour surrounding the glutes. Like full 360 around the clock. Took it around town. Insert SpongeBob meme right here. So you have the contour on the upper glutes, surrounding the sides of the glutes, 
and below the glutes. When I first put these on, I felt the under glute cinch. I felt that slight compression. Not tough to get on. These leggings are not difficult to get on. So I did feel this run up my leg, that little contour. So I knew, I was like, okay, it's gonna pucker the glutes nicely. I can't wait. They kept that contour around the glutes going in between the glutes as well, which is acting as a scrunch. So there's no internal scrunch. There's no external scrunch where you have like one of those sewn patches, intense in your face. This is actually a ribbing and it's a stretchy ribbing. That ribbing is tightening the material up to create that curvature inwards. If you're looking for an insane scrunch bomb, like say Alpha Lead Amplify, where it's really just booty enhancing, where it's a dental floss up your booty, this is not going to be that. This I notice has a more natural glute sculpt is how I'm going to say. It just looks like it sculpts and molds the glutes nicely. It's not invasive and like flossing through your booty. <laughs> you don't feel it, it kind of hovers, but yet still provides dimension to the glutes. It is stretchy. I went right up to it. I started going like this. I just wanted to see how stretchy this was. So it's stretchy, breathable, and it moves with you. There's been times where I've had glute scrunches that have ripped over time, or by accident, I'm not thinking, and I pull up from the glute scrunch, and then it rips and tears, and now there's a hole. I really don't think this is going anywhere. I do believe Gymshark did this on purpose, okay? I did the tread test to test whether or not these leggings slip over time when walking. I wanna see if the scrunch moves away from my booty and just hovers and makes me have a uni butt. I test for all these things. This scrunch contour stays in place. The leggings don't shift, they don't slide. I wouldn't think so with this heavy of a compressive waistband, but you just never know sometimes. But like I said, you really don't feel this scrunch. It's not invasive, it's not intense. It's just enough to sculpt. It's like a Michelangelo sculpt, okay? I do feel like this patch is noticeable. In certain lighting it is. I tested this in low light and natural light just so you could see the difference. It's not like a super discreet contour. You will see it in some lighting, but not far away. Not when you're just working out at the gym. To fill these out, you need um an ample amount of glue. I just barely made it. I have just enough glute where I filled these out and it didn't look like totally excessive material hanging out doing nothing. But if my glutes were any smaller, okay, like say I stopped hip thrusting for a couple months, I do feel like this extra material around the glutes is going to be noticeable. So smaller tushy gals, you're probably going to have some extra material hovering above the glutes. It's gonna start to wrinkle. There's zero compression here. So your glutes are literally going to breathe freely. They're gonna be able to have a mind of their own in these because we all know a restricted booty is a flat booty. Obviously you don't wanna sandwich in your glutes. So they did a nice job here. My only thing, my only concern is you have to go based off of your body type in these leggings. So the most hit or miss part of this legging is absolutely going to be the parachute booty. This is either gonna work for you or it isn't, plain and simple. My true size small, I think I'm going to stick with it. Here's why. If I were to have sized up, okay, I'm like, this band is just a little too snug on me, I need to size up, then I'm gonna have too much space. I'm gonna have way too much space with the parachute booty and I'm gonna have excessive material. All right, I'm already on the brim of having excessive material towards the upper glutes. If I size up, I know I'll have excessive material. If I were to size down, why would I do that? Then the waistband is just forget about it. The thought of that is just getting me heated. The ribbed contour paneling runs all the way down the leg. They did a nice job on the length. For me, 5'3", came at a very comfortable, satisfying length. Now we do have the white printed Gymshark logo. Nothing new there. They're still sticking with that style of a logo. Now from the booty down, I would give an overall moderate compression. Whereas the glutes have minimal, like low, no support. The rest of the legging, nice and moderate. In terms of the material makeup, it looks the most like Vital. In terms of the moral, that heavy moral design, the feeling though, it feels more like the newer camo, which actually makes sense because I'll have both of the materials here for the camo and for this new legging. They're very similar, are they not? Speaking of material, is it sweat friendly? Let's see what the sweat test has to say. Well, 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 it does not show sweat, at least in this color. Actually, it didn't, I didn't detect any sweat. Like I didn't see anything show through. It is fairly breathable, this legging. I think the most dense part of this entire legging, the, the thing that weighs the most is the waistband. <laughs> 
Throughout the legging, it's very comfortable. The stretch is great, you know? It's just, it's a great gym legging. The durability is for sure there. Again, very similar to the Adapt Camo, which we all know, very good with durability. Now, when I was doing the tread test, I didn't detect any major cellulite, all right? I thought it was fairly concealing. However, when I did some donkey kicks, I did notice right on the glutes. Obviously, I'm kicking back. I'm tensing up back there. I did notice it on the glutes. Again, the material is naturally thinner around the glutes, lower compression, so there's not a ton of support. Don't expect that area to be completely concealing of the cellulite, but don't get it twisted. This is one of the best squat-proof Gymshark leggings I've tried in a very long time. I tested it out in a nude thong, like I always do, and then I also tested it in a black brief. It passed the squat test with flying colors. They did a really nice job. They nailed that. According to Gymshark's website, they do say, quote unquote, our best lifting leggings yet. Does this mean lifting as in it lifts the glutes or lifting as in lifting weights in? <laughs> now, I don't know if I agree just yet about it being their best lifting legging yet. I need to give this some time, like how I did with the camo. It's been years in and the camo's still ranking high on my list. Vital is now making its comeback. I have to test these out a little bit more. Basically what I'm saying is these leggings are still babies and we don't know how they will withstand the test of time. That is something that only time will tell. Let's talk the sports bra real briefly because this is a pretty straightforward bra in of itself. I mean, take a look. This does look like Gymshark's traditional adapt style bras. I mean, they even went as far as to add in the ruching that we see all the time. So we got the ruching in the middle, a just traditional racer back, thick bras. This is reminding me so much of the camel bras. With the camel collection lately, I'm feeling like it's a little snug right here. Same with this. Same with this bra. In fact, the whole bra ran a bit snug. So in between size up, I might just want to size up altogether. I don't think there'll be too much excess of material, I'm hoping. There's no adjustments. You do have a ribbing right on the bottom, but there's no elastic band. So overall, moderate support. I do feel like, and this could be because it runs snug actually, that it, the girls look okay. They're looking fairly decent. I was very pleasantly surprised putting it on. I was like, okay, if you don't need anything too high intense, but a low support sports bra just isn't cutting it at the gym, this is your nice intermediate bra. I will end with this. Now these are rolling in at $60. That's the gold standard when it comes to Gymshark. I'm noticing that's usually what it rolls in around. I know some of their leggings have been like $70, $80, um, usually ones that are heavy patterned seamless leggings. You know, they want you to pay for that extra oomph. I'm surprised they didn't pull that here with this being such a new sought after design, but I'm glad they didn't. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video.